Ever since 1762, people have gathered on the feast day of St. Patrick to celebrate their homeland, their heritage, their identity, and their character. Today, more than 150,000 men and women will march up Fifth Avenue to honor the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, a man who dedicated his life to the service of others. Join the parade and follow the green line up Fifth Avenue. This is the 256th St. Patrick's Day Parade. Good morning, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Welcome to the 256th annual New York City St. Patrick's Day. It is the largest. Everybody's celebrating. Everybody is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. And, uh, you know, a lot of the tunes. We haven't heard Danny Boy so often today. And we certainly haven't heard the Fields of Atten Roy, which is probably one of the most popular of Irish songs of the generation. It's sung by Irish rugby, soccer fans, Celtic fans, Liverpool fans. It's been translated, can you imagine, into 50 different languages. And a lot of people will be surprised to know that it's not an old song. 1979, it was written by Pete St. John. And of course, Paddy Riley had a big hit with it. Atten Roy is 25 miles from Galway City. There we just see the plumbers and steam fitters, Pipe Band, Local 21. Right from I Peekskill, New York. I love their motto, we do it right the first time, Lauren. <laughs> That's important when you're fixing a leak. Yes. <laughs> I think we just, we have one in here right now. I think so. Well, as we talked about it.